The Roe versus Wade case has its origins right here in North Texas, so it is only fitting this would be the place where millions of documents and papers authored by the lawyer who successfully argued that case be housed. Our Ken Molestina taking you to the Sarah Weddington Collection at Texas Woman's University in Denton. Some of the things that you'll find are the opinions uh, following the uh, decision of Roe v. Wade. And so this is actually signed by seven of the Supreme Court justices. Pieces like these are just some of what you'll find at the Sarah Weddington collection display inside TWU's main library. Shortly after Roe v. Wade, Sarah did an interview with the Schlesinger Library, and this is a transcript of that interview. Kimberly Johnson is in charge of the work to archive all of Weddington's material, including photos from her youth. Weddington had arranged for all of this to be housed here before her death this past December. While much of Weddington's fame was successfully arguing Roe v. Wade, Johnson says this collection showcases the full body of her life's work advocating for women's rights and the years when she served served as a visiting professor here at TWU. For women, there's a little bit of Sarah in all of us because we want to make things better. This collection really is massive, more than 300 boxes containing more than a million documents. And while all of this research sits here, conversations here at this university are also ongoing, not only about Roe v. Wade, but what would happen if it is in fact overturned? Although this is a draft opinion and it hasn't taken into effect yet, I predict that it will. Dr. Daniel Phillips Cunningham directs the Multicultural Women's and Gender Studies here and says should Roe v. Wade go away, judicial precedents will lose value. It throws everything out of whack and it really puts our democracy at stake. Many people talk about the importance of personal choice and personal freedom. That's thrown out of the window. It's a discussion being had here with this display and exhibit in the backdrop. Researchers, historians, scholars, filmmakers, documentarians, uh, students, uh, everybody has access to come and see what Sarah did. In Denton, Ken Molestina, CBS 11 News.